Okay. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my houseware essentials. As you can see, I am currently in my living room and I basically wanted to film a video sharing with you guys some of like my top 11 items that I cannot live without in my home, things that make living in a home and maintaining a home a little bit easier. I'm sharing everything from coffee machines to uh, countertop cleansers to cutting boards to things like that. I'm basically sharing with you guys some of the things that we love and use a lot in our house. Maybe if you're buying a house or if you have your own space, you're looking for ways to kind of make your lifestyle a little bit easier this video will hopefully help you out before we get into this video please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here i post a lot of lifestyle beauty fashion all that good stuff so if you're interested in those types of things go ahead and subscribe so you can stay tuned with every other video that i post but without further ado i'm so excited to get into these goodies because you're just you're gonna thank me later so let's go ahead and get started so one of my first essentials is my dbot vacuum cleaner and this is basically a vacuum the one that basically is self vacuuming so it goes around your whole house by itself it's kind of nasty that i'm holding it but i just want to show you guys this is what it looks like it's called the dbot and i love this vacuum so so much because it makes cleaning so much easier especially if you have pets that sheds a lot like our dog dakota she sheds so much so a lot of times what we do is if we're tidying up the house a bit all we have to do is tell alexa to tell I have to whisper or else she's going to tell her to start cleaning. But um, that's basically what we love to do. It saves us a ton of time because you don't have to, you know, self vacuum yourself. You can just have her clean and she does the job for you. Next thing I want to share with you guys is Alexa. Alexa is so dope. So if you haven't heard of Alexa or the Google Mini, I was never really into like high tech stuff. My husband is the one who got us like smart bulbs and Alexa's for basically every room in the house. And it is so convenient because she is just like, she's just like an on the go laptop. Basically you can tell her to turn lights off in the house. Like watch this, Alexa, turn living room light on. Okay. See, she turns on lights for you. That's pretty dope. Alexa, turn living room light off. Okay. Thank you. So she is just incredible because one, she comes in handy if you install like smart bulbs in your house, then you can tell her when to turn lights on. I find it extremely convenient when I'm walking in the door with a bunch of groceries and all my bags and I just tell her, Alexa, turn the entryway light on and then she turns it on so I'm not walking around in the dark, you know, or have to scramble to turn the lights on. This is very like first world problems. It's absolutely not necessary, but it's just something that makes your life a little bit easier. Another thing that I like about her is she's just overall very informational. Alexa, what's the weather for today? Right now in Germantown, it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has rainy weather with a low of 36 degrees. Hope you enjoyed your Wednesday. Aw, thank you. Because in the mornings when we're getting ready, we ask her what the weather is, and then based off that, we know what to wear and how to plan our day, blah, blah, blah. So, Google Mini is a must. We have one in the living room, in the basement, in our room. Basically in every room of the house, it's just very useful and Alexa's amazing. The next thing that I wanted to share with you guys that was actually a recent purchase, it is my Nespresso Virtuo Plus. I think that's how you say it, but it's basically just an espresso machine. So if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I've been using a stovetop coffee maker. Um, just because it's old school and I felt like it gave me the richest flavor of coffee because I love my coffee very rich and very tasteful. Um, I used to have an espresso machine back in the day. I found that it didn't really give me the best taste in, when it came to my coffee. I don't know if I wasn't using it right or what, but I heard really good things about the Nespresso Virtuo Plus because I guess it's like a newer machine and it takes uh, larger quantities of coffee like like bigger capsules so I wanted to give this one a try and I absolutely love it guys I love it because my coffee comes out so rich I can make iced coffee I can make hot coffee I can make cappuccinos I can make any type of coffee whatever coffee I'm in the mood in I make it and obviously it saves you a lot of money because you're not going to Starbucks every day buying a seven dollar six dollar coffee you can make it here at home you know on your own so that is why i purchased it mainly was because i was really tired of going to starbucks i just 
I wasn't about that life anymore. So I wanted to be smarter and wiser with my money. So I invested in an espresso machine to help me with that. And so far I absolutely love it. The other thing that I've been loving is this Mrs. Myers Clean Day Aroma Therapeutic Cleaner. And this is basically a multi-surface cleaner. Guys, I, all I had to do was spray it a little bit, smell it, and I took it home. And this is like our third bottle. As you can see, it's almost done. But I absolutely love this cleaner because it really, really cleans your surface. We use this for the kitchen area, um, and but it's multi-surface. You can use it you know, in a lot of different areas. But the main reason why I really love this is because of the scent. It just freshens up the surfaces and it smells so good. This one is the snowdrop scent. So it honestly just smells like fresh laundry and it smells so, so good. We really love this and we've been using it a lot. So I wanted to share with you guys this Tupperware that I got at Ikea. It is glass Tupperware and it has like a wooden bamboo uh, lid. And we were on the hunt for glass Tupperware because up until recently we were using plastic Tupperware which after a while gets really dirty and also is not the best for the environment. We've been looking to switch over to glass, but we didn't find any glass Tupperware that was affordable. So when we went to Ikea, we saw these and they were extremely affordable. I think the glass part was only $6 and then the lids were like $3. So nine bucks for one of these is actually really good. We have been using them. We actually got four. And they've been very, very handy for when we pack lunches and want to store food. We just, it's just the best. We love it. I also picked up these bowls from Ikea. I was on the hunt for uh, salad bowls because when I make my salads, I only have these tiny little cereal bowls to put my salads in. So I wanted something that was a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper so it can hold you know, more food. So I found these at Ikea, super affordable. They match the Tupperware. And I'm trying to slowly but surely have everything in the kitchen match. So these are the ones that I picked up so far. We love them. I have a few more things that are kitchen related. And one of them is this cutting board that as you can see, pretty beat because we use it literally every single day. But we found this at Aldi's and it's basically, it looks like a normal chopping board where you chop your veggies, your onions. But the truth is it goes like this. So it's very easy for you to kind of like put your veggies into whatever you're cooking or whatever you're cutting into a bowl. It makes it super easy so that you don't make a mess. So it kind of like curls up like this so that everything falls nice and easily into whatever you wanna place it in. As you can tell, we have really used this and continue to use it like every single day. Regardless, it's very handy and we love it. Makes cooking so easy and it's also dishwasher safe. So you can pop it in the dishwasher if you wanna, you know, deep clean it or whatever, but we love it. It's very, very useful. Since we're talking about cooking and stuff, I wanted to share with you guys some knives that we got that we actually were inspired to get after we visited some friends who recently bought a house. We've been on the hunt for good knives for the whole year that we've been living here because good knives are very expensive. And so initially when we first moved into this house, we found some at Big Lots. I think it was like a whole set for like 20 bucks. So we just got it. We were like, you know what? We just need something to start, something to get us through. But honestly, guys, those knives were horrible. Like I could barely cut a tomato well with the, the knives that we have. So we decided to invest in some at Ikea. But Ikea has really affordable knives that are really good. So we got four knives. There's only three here because the other one is um, washing. But at Ikea, they have a display that basically tells you like what knife stands for what. So we got a chef's knife. We got another one of these knives. I think this is the vegetable knife. And then we also got this type of knife, which I don't know what it's called. But uh, the point is, <laughs> these are very, very, very good quality for a very low price compared to like normal knives. And then we got this knife holder that you basically put into the cabinet so that the knives are easily accessible. You could just grab them. They're stainless steel. I've been loving these knives a lot. It just makes cooking a lot more enjoyable and a lot less time consuming. Another thing that we've been loving are these dispensers, which are plastic, I think. They're definitely not glass. I think they're plastic, but we also got these at Ikea. We got a couple. So we have one for pasta that's this shape. It's like a rectangular shape. And then we have two for cereal. Love these so, so much because they're clear. They make your pantry look nice and organized. 
and they don't make your cereal go stale. They're very well um, covered, so not a lot of air gets in there, and it's also very easy to dispense, and it's very easy to dispense your cereal. I feel like little things like this really make your house very just livable and very like stress-free because I have found that when things are nice and organized, I feel really good, and I don't feel too stressed out, too overwhelmed, so little things like this, you know, make you just love your home and make you feel like you're really taking care of your home. So these are great dispensers and very affordable at Ikea. So the last two items that I'm gonna talk about are scent related. Eric and I are both very big on scent. We like our space to smell clean. So these are the two things that we have found give us the best smelling house. The first one is this Febreze plug-in. So basically they sell these two things together but then after a while, you only have to buy the actual scent because you already have the plug-in. So this is how it looks and basically we just replace the scented part, I would say at least like once every two months are used really quickly, but it's worth it because it makes your house smell so good for the two months. And you can control on here if you want it to be um, at a minimum or at a maximum or in the middle. We usually like to keep it in the middle and then when guests come over, we go ahead and switch it over to max so that the house can smell much better than normal. So we really love these for Breeze plugins. I'll go ahead and link down below the exact scent that we use. And then the other scent related uh, contraption that we use is this Glad uh, spray. It's basically a, a spray that dispenses a spray. Uh, inside is where the spray container is. So you just have to continue to buy these, but this is like a one-time purchase. The scent that we're using right now is Blue Odyssey. And again, we love it because it's very fresh, very light. So you just plop it in here and then you cover the container. Okay, it just sprayed because I hit the button in the back, but we like to keep this on a timer. So every 30 minutes it sprays and it's not like an overbearingly large spray. It's just like a, it's just like a nice little whiff like that. <laughs> so it just sprays once. Um, but you can leave it on a timer so we have it every 30 minutes and we keep it in the entryway so that when people walk in it smells very fresh and very good especially if it just sprayed um, it's just really really good so love this I think these are some of the affordable ways to make your home smell good because you know diffusers and things like that can get a little pricey but these I don't mind rebuying especially if you want to create like different scents for different times of the year so that's basically it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed all the items that I shared and the tips and the tricks that we use to kind of just make living a little bit more stress-free I feel like owning a home or owning a space in general whether you're renting or living in you know your own space it's a lot of work it's a lot of maintenance cleaning and if you can find ways to make your living a little bit easier and a little bit more organized and a little bit more clean, I feel like that helps a ton. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you can stay tuned with everything else that I post. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.